No, you're not a big gamer. No, not. I was back in the day when games first got born. Was it the Atari? Oh, yeah. I, first was Ping. Yeah. Boop, yep, boop. Yep, yep, that. Yep. Then Atari came out, mm -hmm. and you could play Asteroids and Space Invaders, but the big video games, like we had to 7-Eleven across the golf course in the backyard, and you'd go in and play Miss Pac-Man and Centipede, and then you'd go to the arcades and play Lunar Lander. Oh, yeah, but, but since those all died and everything else is new, nothing. What was your favorite game back in the day? Miss Pac-Man, no, not even. I, I would own a Miss Pac- If I had at home a Miss Pac-Man, like a legit stand-up, you play it, I'd be... I I Because I'd get to multiple levels. I, I play on that thing for a half hour, 45 minutes, easy. Oh, wow. Yeah, not like today's gamers who sit there and play all day long and pee themselves. We didn't do that back in my day. Old man yells at clouds. Yes. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, board, juicy content. Thank you, everybody. Sports on Patreon. Follow us on Instagram. Subscribe, like, button. Back in my day, the video games we used to play was throwing eggs at children. That was fun. I believed it. Yep. Take this one, little Jimmy. <laughs> really freak him out. I'd throw him a hard-boiled one. Knock the sense right back into him. Welcome back. <laughs> Today we're doing a movie review. We are? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and we're doing a Bengalo movie review. Yeah. Uh, of the 2000 uh, drama family is what it's categorized. Drama family. Drama family? It's a drama family. Well, the, 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 classic, families. the classic drama family. Well, yes, this is a, a drama family. Uh, I would say, wouldn't you? I don't know the name in Bengali. But I do. It's uh, House of Memories is uh, what it's. I, I may butcher the pronunciation to all my Bengali family. Please forgive me. Barometor Ekten. Mm -hmm. so. uh, directed and written by Aparna Sen, Aparna Sen. Uh, who is also yep. acting in yes. it as well. Uh, big Her Baby. And then um, uh, uh, Sumitra Chatterjee. Apu is. Uh, well, yeah. There. Do you know who uh, Aparna is in relationship to. Wife? Yeah, they were husband and wife in the Opu trilogy. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, a couple other people. A couple Mukherjee's, you know, in yes, there. Throws. Yes, yes. Most especially uh, Rutupana Sangupta. Yeah, throw, so th throw some Mukherjee's at the wall, see what sticks, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, but it's, if there's a G, it's probably a Bengali. Um, same, but, as, same as Sen. Sen is a pretty popular. I, I believe this is the first thing of her directing. I unless believe. Unless I'm wrong. Yeah. I know we've seen her before, obviously. In acting stuff, but not, yeah, I don't think we've ever. Seen I don't think no. She's ever directed? Definitely, I don't, I don't think I so. Don't believe that. Nope. Uh, we got recommended this one um, by uh, quite a few Bengalis. Uh, they gave me a list, and then I gave the list to Indrani and said, "Which ones do you like as well?" Uh, and so, kind of double Bengalied it into uh, something that we were going to watch. Obviously, uh, so if you haven't seen it, uh, there's there's stuff on YouTube. You can rent it on Amazon. You can rent it on Amazon for two uh, bucks as well. Uh, in India, there's probably more places that you could probably watch the probably. style of films, yep. but it'll be 100 It's probably on Hoi Choi. Probably, yeah. It'll be a 100% spoiler review because it came out in 2000, so if you haven't watched it, please go watch it, come back. It'll be a 100% spoiler review. Rick, your initial thoughts of whatever you called it. Yeah. Uh, this is the first time I have ever gone from the beginning of a film thinking I'm not going to give it a medal mm, wow. Jeez. to... And I will say, the gold medal has a lot to do with my own personal things related to my wife and my family in Kolkata because of our marriage, and I'll explain that. But I went from thinking it was going to be a rough ride to loving it. Hmm. Uh, and I will talk all about why, but I I loved it. Nice. Um I, I, if different for me because now I, I enjoyed it, but I didn't think it would be a rough ride in the beginning. But it took me a while to get interested in it. Understandably, um, not because I think there was like anything glaringly awful, in my opinion, in the uh, in like the beginning part. It's just like, okay, 
uh, get my bearings here. Who's who's here? Who's mm-hmm. here? Mm-hmm. Why do I care? Mm-hmm. What's going on here? So it took me maybe like 45 minutes at least. Yeah, the to- first half of it is about why, do, why should I care? What's really going on? And getting acclimated to the reality that it's going to be very slow, burn. very slow, a bit clunky, some moments of stiffness mm-hmm. and some dated things that m- were a bit cringy. Mm. Um, but once I think you, you get acclimated to that, what did I what did I liken it to? Um for for a film that came out in 2000, it felt like something that came out more it, 80s, 70s in it, India, actually. It, that's what it reminded me of. It remind, Did you go with us when we went to go see... Probably I not. know Stephanie did. I don't think you did. We went up to Austin to see Into the Woods by the Deaf and Blind oh, yeah, no, Kids. I didn't, I didn't go anywhere with you. Okay. I didn't think you did. I'm 99% certain. Yeah. In Texas? Yeah, I'm 99%. We, we had a, bu- a bunch of people who were involved in The Miracle Worker. We drove up to see a presentation of Into the Woods at a school for the deaf and the blind, mm-hmm. and they presented it. Okay, so you were telling about the, yes uh, that you when you when we went to see that play in Austin with the deaf and the blind kids doing the show, you forgave whatever limitations they were having at the time and looking beyond those kinds of things. And that's how I felt at the beginning of the film. You were just mm-hmm. talking about yeah. the the things that you have to get adjusted to. Right off the bat, I'll just point out the things that were my standouts for me and then i'll share some of the things that elevated it for me simply because of the personal connection but i think anybody could and should see this for i had four big positives the first one is is that this is a this is such a in every respect this is a woman driven film Mm -hmm. not not just the reality of who wrote and directed it and starred in it but the subject matter yeah it's all about women yeah uh and it's not just about women it's a it's, it's a courageous depiction of several things, including mental illness, yeah. um, disability, um, breaking social norms, yeah. uh, and it spends most of its time focusing on the really hard truths about life, yet even with the hard truths about life, there is what I think is a very clear ending of optimism. Uh, and I felt I felt that the ladies did a really good job Um, there were points for everybody where I felt things were not performative, but they were definitely done for camera and for the moment. But the heart of the film for me was so obvious throughout that I think it's, it's deserving of high merit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it definitely didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. Um, starting out the film and from, you know, taking me a while to get into it, but then like when it kind of took its turns and like, oh, oh okay, we're going here with the story. We're going yeah. here with the story. Yeah. I, I was really enjoying the second half of it, which is you can't always do that with films. So. No, <laughs> no. And yeah, it's dubbed. But I mean, first of all, you're filming in Kolkata. <laughs> you're going to have a lot of noise. Secondarily, it's predominantly a period piece. So you can't have the sounds of the year 2000 in a film that's taking place a lot of the time in the past. Mm. So I had to get past that. I didn't hear any of that. There was dubbed. I wonder if your Amazon one was different. Yeah, mine was dubbed. Cause I, I, it was I, Bengali, but it was dubbed. I watched it on YouTube. Yeah. Because I have uh, premium mm-hmm. on, uh, on YouTube, so I don't have the ads. Um, so, yeah, it didn't sound It didn't sound dubbed? to me, yeah. It, it wasn't dead silent all the time except for voices? No. You had you had I, horns honking? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there no. There was stuff going on. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Yeah, mine was 100% dubbed. Weird. Uh, anyways, yeah, yeah no, it, it, I, I like that direction. It went in the second half, which is good, considering the first half just it took me a, yeah. a while to get into the film. Normally, when it takes you that long, it's not a, a good sign for your film. No, uh, to, that will. No, you're going to lose me. And I said that at first. I watched the first, say, forty minutes of it, and then uh, Andrani woke up, and she didn't watch it for a reason. I'll show you that on the personal side. Uh. She's seen it, um, but just it's been a long time since she's seen it. Yeah, uh, and she said, "How are you liking the film?" And I said, "It's kind of rough right now." Mm. Yeah, and then after that, it just it kept doing that for me. Nice. Yeah. Uh, my One of my favorite parts was actually Aparna Sen, who is, I, I'm sure we've said it in the other films of hers that we've seen, 
Like her face is made for yeah. the screen. Uh, both ladies are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, especially when she had the glasses on. Yeah. I was like, she was like serving cunt, but like in a good way. Uh, which I think is a it's a good thing actually serving cunt. I believe yeah, that when is a good thing. It is a good thing. Uh, but <laughs> like when she had the glasses, I was like, she looks very good here. Yeah, she yeah. looks very good. Uh, and I also really enjoyed her performance, especially as the film went on, uh, as well as our our lead mama. And, and that leads is that into her right here. Right? Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. Ritupana Sangupta. Um, Why does she look who's younger there? Beautiful than she does here in the film. <laughs> well, <laughs> how old? Oh, is you she? mean young? She's my age. God, they made She's like 53. So back then, she was in her 20s. The mom? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. That, who you're looking at, right? yeah. The mother-in-law or the main young girl who has who has the boy in the in the school who's, yeah. who has cerebral palsy. Which one, which are the two you're talking about? The, the mother-in-law. The mother-in-law. Yeah. yeah. That is who you were just talking about. Sumitra, uh, uh, I mean, Aparna Sen. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. How old was she? Is she still alive? Yeah. Is she? Are yeah. You, are you sure? Yeah. Um, ninety nine point nine percent sure that. It, <laughs> yes. Yeah, she's seventy eight. Really? Yeah. Okay, so sorry, I had it mistaken. I was I thought Parma Sen was the main girl. No, no, kid. no. That's the mother in law. Okay, strike and that. Then, reverse it. I yeah, was talking about Sengupta Ruby. is. Boromita. Okay, sorry. Yes. I was talking about her uh, as the uh, the main uh, girl. Aparna uh, also did did very good job as the mother-in-law. Sorry. <laughs> I just had them confused okay. just based off the picture. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I, I apologize. Uh, I, I'm not good with names. Uh, that picture looks more like the main girl to me right now. <laughs> it does, but it's a black and white photo from about 50 years okay, ago. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> and, and not, like I said, I, don't actually, I could not actually tell you anybody's name in this. Yeah. At all. I mean, yeah. it's very common for, for me when I watch Indian films. I actually don't know anybody's name. Yeah. Because I'm just like, okay, that person is that person. That person is that person. I don't know anybody's name. Anybody else, what were you about to say? Sorry. Well, I was going to say, so the personal side of these things, one of the reasons Indrani, she started to watch it and she she had to stop. And then as I watched it, I realized why. Um, she it It is so close to home, not just because it's a Bengali film. Uh, and not, but she pointed out some things that only Literally. a, a oh, Bengali okay. would, know, yeah, that a Bengali would know is differentiations between North uh, Kolkata and South. Yeah, they did bring up Kolkata. The, yeah, and yeah. and how the South has been historically more progressive, and the North is more traditional. Mm. Hence, the mom, uh, Aparna Sen, and and the main our main girl. That, that was north and south mm-hmm. and the differentiation especially at that that really culminating scene where mother-in-law says to her you are a girl without shame because mm-hmm. she wants to divorce him yeah but then the heartbreaking moment when she's really gonna leave and mom-in-law says you have him and you have your son i have nobody mm-hmm. i just have our mentally ill girl mm. the and yeah, the way so, they talked about the homesickness that Indrani feels for Kolkata, the house that they're in for this thing is very reminiscent of her house. Oh, yeah. And Op- Oparna Sen not just looks, but the character is a lot like. I mean, the, the way she looked, especially as she got older, it looks so much like Indrani's mom. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she has battled with mental illness. And if it mm-hmm. wasn't for the family, she would be very alone. Mm. And it just hits so close to home in mm-hmm. so many ways. And especially when she had to leave, that was one of the hardest things when she came here was that she was going to have to leave uh, Dablu and Didibai and her mom and the rest of the family in the house. And the the touches on mental illness and uh, mom getting sick, which was one of Indrani's biggest fears was what's going to happen. Because she wasn't, for those of you who don't know, she wasn't allowed to leave America for three years because of the immigration process. And we didn't know that going into it. We thought she'd be able to go home whenever she needed to. Uh, and so those those things not only made it um, more touching, but it elevated it for me like any film would where you have a personal connection to it. That, that adds a level of it for me. And it seems so natural for Bengali film. I mean, this is 
almost 25 years ago, a woman led film touching on taboo subject matter that this film is not a feel good film. Mm -mm. The majority of this film is showing you a very horribly toxic man, the way he treats mm -hmm. his his wife and the his reaction to his son being born because he's got cerebral palsy. <laughs> Uh, I thought it was really courageous for them to not only have the boy be a kid that has cerebral palsy, but all of the kids they included mm -hmm. that were definitely yeah. having some form or another and presenting that for you to watch. Uh, very clearly that Aparna Sen wanted to ensure – I have a message I want everybody to see. And whether or not you guys like it or it makes you – because so many times we hear about – I mean, Big B said this, people want to go to forget their problems. This is not going to make you forget your problems. This is going to make you look them square in the face <laughs> and deal with them. But yeah. that last shot, when she's driving away, when they feel the baby, and then it just shows you the streets they're on, which reminded me so much of Indrani's neighborhood. And then it goes up to the sky. It's just in the midst of all of that, you can still find optimism and, and joy yeah, the film wanted life. To, the film had a lot to say in terms of, of, of a lot of different subjects. Honestly, yeah, with, uh, family um, relations and how people treat people with mental illness or disabilities right. as well. Right, um, marriage itself, yeah, yeah. Uh, independence, um, women and um, how they're treated. Uh, the the mother and daughter, uh, the daughter in law relationship. Like that whole scene was great when um, she was saying, "I'm gonna." We're going to divorce and blah, blah, blah. It's a great And scene. then how a, a Parna, um was like, leave, leave, leave. And then she was like, don't leave. Don't leave. Me. <laughs> great scene for, for her. It, uh, and then when um, Ruth, uh, say her name. Yeah. Ruth Parna Sangupta. When she came back when uh, Aparna was really sick and then she would finally go to the bathroom with um, uh, Rup, whatever her name was. Yeah. She's like the only one. That actually cared, yeah, gave her respect. Cared Everybody else get her was there. kind of just showing for for outward appearances, and that the, the bravery of that moment too. We take it for granted of what we see, especially in, a, in the majority of things you see here in American cinema as well as OTT. But that moment of vulnerability for upon Sen to portray a character who's being led to the bathroom, and then you hear her urinating. Mm -hmm. That that that's pretty bold. Mm -hmm. That's a really bold choice to make in that moment. Yeah. Um, and the actress who played the sister that they said at the beginning had chronic schizophrenia, which I don't yeah, know that no, she no, was. No. <laughs> <laughs> but for 24 years ago and probably a big lack of information, I didn't think she was playing a caricature. I felt like she was doing her utmost to try to portray somebody with that challenge and at first i thought uh oh this is not going to work but because it really came off as a genuine attempt mm. I, it was anything that felt off was completely forgivable for me for that character as was other things which little side note do we know what caused um the change like to not for people who have cerebral palsy or some other kind of uh challenge with the brain and muscular function, it used to be really common to say that they were retarded, mm. which isn't derogatory in itself. In fact, it's a musical term. If you retard something in music, what it means is it, it, it slows way down and stops. Therefore, in the medical community, it was, oh, people who are clearly slower mentally or physically or even have stoppage have some form of a retardation. But I know that's now you don't call somebody well, it's because that. it became yeah and that's what i don't know when because when i was a kid the only usage of it that was derogatory was when you said to another person a bully or somebody you're retarded but other than that stop saying because i don't know to if say we could demonetize the, because when you say that I, really just, certain words will demonetize it yeah wow. <laughs> i just just let so you know. much for free speech <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's free speech. It's just like, no, yeah, it's we're, not. We're not going to. Uh, it's not if you can't advertise. Yeah, that's not free speech. Um, <laughs> well, they're not the government, so they, <laughs> they're just a business. Yeah. Um, but I, like I said, I don't know if that's that's what happens. But yeah, it's just the same way. Like, 
for gay people, the F word. The uh, yeah, the, that, that, that was that, that same started, thing. Yeah, uh, that was originally never even intended to be it, a word for the, describing a homosexual. Yeah, the a uh, lot of words turn into other things. Yeah, based yeah. off of. Um, Abuses, uh, yeah, well, uh, different things like that. So I yeah. don't, I don't know. But I also in, in India, they at least the way it's translated it could just be translated bad, and they called it like chronic schizophrenia or whatever sure. it's called, whatever. But just like in what it was like, stars, he clearly has right. he's on the spectrum, and they say you have uh, dyslexia, right? <laughs> mm, those I are don't different. think so. And those are different. Uh, although dyslexia and um, ADD are on the spectrum, but again. That example and I think the examples on this are born from not might be translation. Yeah, well, it's one sense. translation to not malicious intent, but simply ignorance of it and just calling it what you think it to be at the time. Like um, the film with Ishk with uh, Nasir and uh, yeah, the, uh, Nvidia pe people on Patreon said this was PG'd the the translations. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. They said it's actually... You called a couple of them. Yeah, he said it's very raunchy, yeah. this film, yeah. and actually poetic in the way they have it. Yeah. And they said you guys would never pick up on it, but right. also the translation, it made it PG when it's really an R-rated oh, film. What a shame. Um, so that may, that might have even added more enjoyment. To it the, would uh, have. The, the, the film, I, so. I would have enjoyed it even more to that, have heard that, them being spicy. So that very... Yeah, in terms of bad translation. Sure, Unfortunately, sure. it's just uh, the nature that we have to do because we don't speak yeah. any of these languages. Yeah, uh, and so then also whoever writes the subs, it's usually terrible unless it's a stupid. Movie. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why they're so bad. Like, but it isn't just them. It's also it's. I was watching. We watched a really good horror film last night. It's a Spanish horror film, mm. and I was watching that and looking at some of the translations, and I'm like. That's, they said that, but they didn't say it like that. Mm -hmm. They, you changed the way. So like if it was, if it said, you know, uh, sister, please, it, well, it does, but suffice it to say, I don't need to get on the specifics. I think it happens in every language. Yeah. <laughs> uh, except English. Yeah. No, English is always perfect. Yes. And the always most, makes complete sense. It's, uh, most people say it's the most perfect language oh, out there. The most perfect, easiest to learn. And makes the most sense. The bestest language yeah. that I believe there ever is. Absolutely. And and are. Oh, yeah. And the oldest. Uh, Probably, yes. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let us know what you thought about this film. If you like it, if you didn't like it, what should be our next Bengali film? Uh, I know we got a whole Are there more to. by uh, I believe Aporna so. Sen? Uh, she's directing still. I just saw something on her. Um, I would actually, love I to see more of her. we actually just saw, was it a trailer? Did we actually see the film? Of uh, something that she's doing now. I don't know. Or am I? We may have. Crazy. Then I'm, we're just. Uh, she's got something Indian in post production. Summer. It's a Sachi Ride. Oh, yeah. See, uh, we saw a trailer last year. It was the oh, rapist. Oh, the rapist. I I didn't realize that was her, written we and directed. We didn't. Uh, What's the story on that, stupid we didn't babies? watch it. But uh, she, I think she directs more now than anything. Talk about a title for a film. The rapist. Yeah, you have to put a space there, otherwise it's just called therapist. Stupid. <laughs> gotta be careful. <laughs> and also, you gotta be careful about certain therapists, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? Almost went Beetlejuice on that. Whore! Oh, yeah. uh, babes. <laughs> nice fucking model! <laughs> video is definitely getting demonetized. <laughs> You said the R don't you word. get one? You said don't you get one f bomb? No, you said like five of the R words. Well, you, you said, said cunt. You said rapist, and now you just said <laughs> the f word. Should I talk about unaliving and really get us knocked off? No, you can say unaliving. You can't say the <laughs> other word. That's why I said it that way. Uh, anyways, oh, uh, it's okay. cheers, everybody. Four people are gonna watch. That's this right. Anyway, it's good so for it's you. Fine. Anyways, let us know what our next Bengali review should be down in the comments below. I'll vote it so I can see it and anything else we need to know down below.